Welcome Never Betters to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan and this is Buddy Sherman and we are so glad you're here. So today I've got a one hour vinyasa flow practice for you all about movement and message. We are going to move in and out of tree pose in the flow as well as shift directions on our mats. The message is about imagining your vision. So I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, push the bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after the best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Now, if you use the Spotify playlist, If you use that playlist, go ahead and press that button now. Then come with me. We're coming right into child's pose. Knees are going to go wide. Big toes track together. You're going to go ahead and slide your hands inside. So this is a little variation inside of your legs and just let your palms face up and your forehead rest down. Now collectively, let's all take a nice deep breath in and an audible right out your mouth, sigh out. <sighs> now bring your hands stacked one upon each other with elbows wide and let your forehead rest upon your stacked fists. Now with your eyes closed, take a deep breath in, fill your chest, fill your lungs, fill your diaphragm up, and sigh it right out your mouth. <sighs> Starting your practice today by connecting the focus of your mind in towards your breath. Just draw into this place. Then go ahead and let your hands, they're physically going to plant as you bring your body upright. Pick up your shins and knees to let them be parallel. Take your hands back behind your body, thumbs out, roll the shoulders back and just puff the heart up. Stretch out your neck, let the chest, the sternum, the breastbone lift and then rise up off of your heels, lifting your heart. Now sit back down, sweep your arms in front of your body, lace the hands round the back, tuck the chin. Now from here, rise up on your shins and knees, lift the ceiling tiles up, then let your hands rest right on top of your head. Roll over to the right, pulling the right elbow back as the left hip draws back. Come back to the center and rotate right arm forward, left arm back, right hip draws back. Beautiful. Reach it back up. Lift the arms up now. Left hand forward, right hand back. Right hand hip pocket. Left arm by your bicep. Just lift up and back for a little half camel. Ustrasana. Inhale, reach your arms up, right hand forward, left hand back, left hand either hip pocket, possibly left heel, right bicep by your cheekbone, lift your heart and chest up as you arc back. Now let the hands lace behind your body. Kali Mudra style, slide the index fingers down the back side. Look up, retract your shoulders. Sit down, hips to heels, keep your hands laced. 
Tip your head down, soften your elbows, and let your shoulders rinse up and overhead. Breathe. Release that connection. Let your toes tuck under. Let the left hand come to the left thigh. Circle the right arm up and around. So just do this a few times, breathing some mobility into that right shoulder, keeping the right arm bent. And then keep circling around and then slip the left hand on your left hip. And then rise up and reach both arms up. Brush and sweep your hands to the outside edges of your feet as you bow your head down. Inhale, come up, right hand, right thigh, left arm creates that circular motion. So just start moving and breathing. So this week on our Never Better Yoga channel, we have been unpacking samskaras, which is that emotional patterns that get blocked sometimes in a negative cycle. Now those samskaras can also be positive emotions. So rise up, reach that left arm up, reach right arm up, and then sweep the hands down. Hands connect to the outside edges of your feet. Bow down. Now on the rise up, right hand, hip pocket or right heel, left arm up and back, half camel. Exhale, brush and sweep. Capture your feet. Maybe the feet are tucked under. Maybe your toes are pointed. Left hand, left heel or left hand, hip pocket, right arm up and back. Exhale, brush down, sweep down, bow down. Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, brush down, breathe out. Keep going side to side. Right arm lift, circle and open. Exhale, dive back down. Now move at your own pace. Move with your own style. Let the heart lift. Just start to gain a little flexibility, a little pliability, a little mobility. Really opening your heart into new ways of seeing things. It's the shift that happens on our mats that is the gift. So to change or break some of those cycles, some of those patterns that we get stuck in, we have several tips that help. So on this next round, after you do one more each side, I want you to rise up with both arms stretching high. Point your toes if they're not and pull your hands to heart center. Now let your chin draw down to your chest, that Anjali Mudra, that pressing of your palms together, the very first step in shifting those negative cycles is to bring a purpose to your practice. So let it be sealed in, let it create clarity, let it create vision, imagining things the way you want them to be. It could be a wish or a prayer for someone or something. Seal that in. Then offer it up. Swan dive your arms down. Come right to hands and knees. Big toes track together. Feet lift off the mat. Hips dip. Tap the back of your head. Exhale, push back child's pose. Now move forward just like you just did. 
big toes together. Toes could be flexed, flointed, or pointed, but visualize tapping the top of your head. Open your heart. Exhale, push back, child's pose. So do three more rounds like that. Inhale, rise, dip the hips, heart lifts. Exhale, back, child's pose, balasana. Two more, inhaling and exhaling. Moving like the real you. After the third round, land back in child's pose and hold. So take that intention and then we're going to weave it in and out of our breath. Rise up. This time, bring your knees to the width of your hips. Round your back and tuck your chin for cat and then a little cow. Do it again. Exhale, push the earth away. Inhale and arch. Now, if you want a little more or a little more movement, let your hand shift east and west and then circle your hips around in a circle. Now you could bend your elbows. So you're really getting more pliability and mobility into your body. It's that Saja movement. So you're starting to build tapas, heat. So we're going to go through the different steps that can help you break right out of any kind of rut that you're in. So the first is setting that intention which you've done. The second is building heat. The third, reverse the direction, is moving slowly. So just being very conscious and aware of your movement. The fourth tip is awareness. Awareness, waking up, waking your body up, waking your mind up waking up right in here to the now. Now come back around and find a stable stance, hands facing the front of the room. Right leg is going to stretch back. Let the left arm go long. Bird dog. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, stretch it long. Do it again. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, stretch it long. Send the left thumb down. Bend the right leg. Catch it for a chapasana connection. Now release the left hand down. Cross the right leg way over the left. Off your mat goes the right leg. Circle around on the hips. Get some movement that lets any of those areas of stickiness, or anything that could be stuck, release it. Reverse the direction. And the fifth tip is fearlessness. Abaya in Sanskrit. Fearlessness. Now, come back around onto all fours with your toes pointed. Push down into your hands, lift just your knees and shins up, keeping your toes pointed. Round the back, tuck the chin. Hold. Drop the knees, arch the back, pick your feet up, look up. Land your shins down, push into the top shoelace side of your feet. Pick your shins up, round the back, tuck the chin, cat. With shins and knees lifted, feet down. Lower the knees down, point the toes, arch the back, look up. Land back on all fours, left leg long, right arm reaches, go for length. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, stretch it long again. Keep pulling the navel in, left pinky toe down. 
Exhale, contract. Inhale, send it long again. Right arm back, thumb down, left leg bends. Possibly catch it for that Shapasana connection. Breathe. Now release the left leg long as the right hand comes down. Cross that left leg way over. Way over so it crisscrosses and lands on the ball of the left foot. Right off your mat. Circle the hips around. Activate places that could be stuck. So the sixth tip is vision. That brings us to today. So your vision being in front of you. This is how Dalai Lama puts it. In order to carry a positive action, we must develop a positive vision. Now, bring the left leg back around. Let both knees be down, shins are down, toes are pointed. Press in to the hands, pick up the knees and shins. Hover them. You're pressing down into the tops of your feet. Now, this time, lower your knees down. Shift your shoulders forward over the wrists. Bend your arms, go chin, chest, belly. Land right on your belly. Slip the right forearm in front of your body. Let the left leg bend. Reach the left hand back. Pull the left heel in. Push your heart up. Breathe in. Now reverse it. Left forearm down. Right leg bends. Right arm back. Maybe catch the right foot. Press the heel in. Pump the heart up. So keeping your vision in front of you, what you are moving towards what you constantly see. Now come back around for Sphinx. Sphinx pose, forearms down, heart lifts, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, chin back down. Do that again. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower back down. Vision. Think of this with your vision, keeping it in front of you. Maybe you rise your elbows up, baby seal. You are moving towards what you constantly see. Come back down. Now, forearms are down, toes are pointed, legs are long. Push into the tops of your feet and lift your belly off of your mat. Let your thighs come up, shins come up. Really ignite your core. Toes are pointed, feet are down. Forearms are down, pressing into the earth. Two more rounds of breath. Beautiful, then lower your hips down, slide your hands back, tuck your toes under, pop your hips up, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Now in your down dog, pedal through your feet. Yeah, just press your heels back behind your second and third toe. Letting your hands be the width of your shoulders and your feet the width of your hips. Now pop your heels up on the in-breath and then lower your heels back down on the out-breath. Do that again. Breathe in, peel the heels up. Exhale, breathe out, lower the heels down. One more time. When you lift the heels, Pull your belly in. Start to shift a little bit, shoulders over rest, and then lower back down. Now in your down dog, lift the right leg up, roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. 
option to circle just the foot around the ankle, maybe the entire hip joint to circumduct it, or reverse that direction could just be the foot, could be the whole hip. And then draw the right knee to the right tricep way up high. Step the right foot outside the right pinky finger. Tense your finger pads. Keep the back knee lifted. Maha the right foot, but lift your heart up. Exhale, glide your hips back. Dig the right heel in. Bow down a little modified pyramid pose. Inhale, shift forward, pop the heart back up, breathe in. Exhale, dive back down, breathe out, birth something on the inside. Seeing things the way you want them to be. Come back, this time dip the left knee down. Left hand stays down, right arm sweeps back, possibly catch a bent left leg. Kick the shin into the hand, the foot into the hand. Let the heart lift. Let the tips of your ears draw back and your face soften. Now release it, right hand down, left knee cap lifts. Pop up, wide-legged fold at the top of your mat, right into ragdoll. Now ignite a little sway in your ragdoll. Let it be a sway full of energy, full of movement, building that heat, that tapas, side to side. Yeah, finding that sway, then holding up in the center, shaking out any kind of stinking thinking, any kind of patterns, any negative cycles that we repeat over and over, we're going to shift today. Draw that yes back in, moving your head back and forth, calling things the way you want them to be. Let your hands be released on your shins. Pop the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, fold down. Heel toe your feet all the way together. On the way up, sweep your arms out and up. Lace the hands inside out. Let them rest on top of your head. Knit your ribs in. Rotate right side, right elbow back, left elbow forward, left hip back. Come back to the center. Rotate right elbow forward, left elbow back. Yes, come back to the center. Reach your arms up. Left hand forward, right hand back, right hand hip pocket on the right side, left bicep by your cheekbone, create a standing back bend. Inhale, levitate your arms up, stand tall, pull your ribs in, right hand forward, left hand back. Left hand hip pocket, square the hips up to the front of the house, bicep by your right ear, arc up and back. Exhale, collect your hands, cascade and fold over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Step your body back to high plank pose. From your high plank, hold. Breathe and hold. Let your knees land down. Point your toes, shift shoulders over the wrist. Go chin, chest, belly. Retract your shoulders. Maybe Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, up dog. Exhale, dive up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Hold up and down dog. Lift the left leg up, roll the left hip open. Left foot might circle around. Maybe it's the whole hip joint, getting that mobility into your body. It's how we activate that shift. We break those cycles, reverse the direction, bringing awareness to your practice, conquering that fearlessness by creating a vision that is bigger, a bigger vision for your life. Those dreams, imagining the way you want things to be, left knee, inner knee, 
outer upper left arm. Step that left foot up, tent the finger pads, pick the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, dive back, breathe out. What you keep in front of you is what you're moving towards. What are you seeing? Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, dive up and back, bow down. Now we might need a little help with this vision. We might have to cut out pictures of things that we would like to see happen in our lives the way we want them to be. Actual physical pictures. Dip the right knee down, right hand down, left arm sweeps back. So take those limits off. Catch that foot and heel. Offer the heart up. Let the tips of the ears draw back. Soften that space around your eye sockets. Now release the left hand. Tuck the right toes under. Pop the hips up. Come to a hip distance forward fold at the top of your mat. Just pump your heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, pull yourself together. So no matter what is going on right now, inhale, halfway lift in your life. Exhale, fold back down. Just know that it is temporary, that this too shall pass. Halfway lift. Keep your vision in front of you. Bow down. Imagine things the way you want them to be. Talk about them the way that you want them to be not the way that they are or were. Rise up, breathe in, heel toe your feet together, hands to heart center, samastiti he. Pick the right leg up, come into vrikshasana tree pose. You can even carry the sole of the right foot to the left inner thigh or maybe to the calf. Hands stay at heart center. Offer your arms up, breathe in. Hold steady and stable. Stay in tree. Bring your hands behind your body. Lace the hands, slide them down the back side. Find balance. Look up. Sit into Utkatasana chair pose. Reach the arms forward, tailbone back, half a chair. Exhale, bow down and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Come back up with me. Rise up. Carry that left hand to foot, bringing it in. If you can get the heel higher than the knee, you find that place of balance. Stand into it. Let your roots go deep. Let your Leaves rise high, the arms, the branches, lift them up. Now release the hands to lace them behind your back. Retract your shoulders, pump up your heart, shift your vision, shift your gaze. Imagine things the way you want them to be. Now sit back down, Utkatasana chair pose. Reach your arms forward, tailbone back. Exhale, bow down and fold over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. This time, step or float your body back. Take it through your style of vinyasa. You could always use your knees going chin, chest, belly. You can shoot back to low push up. Exhale, up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Stabilize your hands with a nice gripping of your mat. Maybe even walk your feet in a touch. Surya Namaskara A to build that heat. Peel the heels up, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, breathe out. Step, walk, float, fly, feet to your hands. Pump the heart up, breathe in, stay with your breath. Exhale, dive down, breathe out, rise up. Inhale that imagination, that vision. Exhale, hands to heart center, cascade right back down. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, step or float it back. Take it through vinyasa. Get some buoyancy in your body. 
Move with your breath. Find ease in your practice. Landing back in down dog. Stable, steady. Pop your heels up. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe out. Step, hop, float, fly. Feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale. Make it light like a ninja. Exhale. Fold. Urdhva Hastasana. Rise up. Carry that intention that vision exhale dive back down empty anything out that hinders it inhale and lengthen step or float it back take it through vinyasa no matter what things look like in the natural keep your vision in front of you keep it clear land back in down dog elevate the heels up two more rounds breathe in Exhale, bend the knees, breathe out. Lift on the inhale, fly up, feet to hands, hop, float, fly. Exhale, dive and fold. Root to rise, stand tall. Exhale, empty your breath out, dive over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, come with me. Step or float it back, take it through. Vinyasa flow. Inhale, offer up. Exhale, dive back, hold up and down dog for our last round. Hold up right now. Solidify your hands, grip the mat, pop your heels up, connect your breath to your moves. Inhale, bring awareness. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, hop, float, fly, feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, rise up, breathe in, vision, lift. Exhale, dive down, darshana. Exhale, fold, inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back, take the vinyasa out. You choose, you decide, meet back in down dog. Right leg lifts, moving on. Roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Stay right here or carry the right foot behind the left. Flip it inside out. Wild thing. Right arm up and overhead. Let the heart lift. Breathe. Elevate the right arm up. Look up. Bring the right hand down. Weave the right knee underneath. Shoot it out. Fall your triangle. Left arm up and overhead. Lengthen the left side body. Plug the left shoulder head in. Breathe. Bring it around. Left hand down. Right knee into the forehead. Step it up. Virabhadrasana one. Solid stance with your first warrior. Pull back the left arm. Look up. Archer's pose. Create that vision. Imagine. Now, right hand, left shin, left toes on the diagonal. Rainbow. Now, come to the front of your mat. Crescent lunge. Left hand forward, right hand back. Offer it up on the exaltation. Left bicep by your cheekbone. Then ring it out and twist. Left upper arm outside the right front thigh. Open your arms maybe high to low. Left kneecap lifts. Breathe. Now lower the left hand down. Spin around. Jiva lunge back of your mat. Let the right toes come up. Skandasana. Hands at heart center. Use that left tricep to help lift the heart. Right toes face the heavens. Now maybe you want to use the outer edge of the right foot. So be it. Come back to the top of the mat. Float up half moon. Maybe right hand on a block. Left leg lifts. A possible chapasana connection. Left hand slips back to the left foot. Left shin, heart lifts. 
Now release that connection, standing L shape, left hand down, right arm lifts for revolved half moon. Let the rotation come through the waistband. Maybe bend the left leg like the beginning of class, bird dog, right hand, left foot or shin, kick it out, breathe. Now release it into that L shape. Let the left knee come into your forehead nice and tight. Set it next to the right, scoop the arms up, chair pose. On the way up, stand up, tree pose. Maybe you carry the sole of the right foot in toward the left, hands at heart center. Breathe. Balance. Levitate your arms up. Stand tall into your tree. Vrikshasana. Open up your gaze. Open up your vision. Take the limits off. The brain. The battles in the head. Release the hands to lace them behind your back. Slide them down the backside. Take a gaze up. Now, keep the hands laced. Lower the right foot down. Bend your knees. Half a chair. Bow down over your legs. Let your shoulders rinse. Now, release the hands down. You're in a forward fold. Pop your heels up. Breathe in. Stay in the fold. Now on the exhale, knees apart, hips to heels, hands to heart. Balance. Birth something on the inside. Something you've wanted for a long time but didn't know how to get. Doesn't matter how to get it. What you keep in front of you is what you're moving toward. Doesn't matter how long it takes. It's never too late. Rise back up. Heels lift. Inner thighs spiral in forward fold with finger pads tented. Now drop the hips to the heels again, hands to heart, balance. This time bring your hands along the insides of your thighs. See if you can lift your heart a little more. Breathe. Now pull your index finger and thumb together. Breathe and hold. Now plant the hands down this time, pop the hips up. Either come to Bakasana or if you would prefer staying in Malasana, you could do that as well. So you're going to balance on your hands, letting your knees load up into your upper arms. Now, if you would prefer, you could stay in Dolphin, you could stay in Malasana. You choose, you decide what serves you best. Malasana. Kakasana, crow. Now, step or float your body back through vinyasa or take it right out. But let's all meet in downward facing dog. When you get there, let the heels lift up. Breathe in on the inhale, create space. On the exhale, lower your heels, breathe out. <sighs> Dive into that space you create. Do it again. Inhale, pop the heels up. Exhale, dive back in, heels down. Last time, third time's a charm. Make it an audible exhale. Breathe in, fill your body with good thoughts, shifting those patterns. Exhale, any negative cycles out. <sighs> yes. Now, left leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Now you could stay right here or flip inside out. You choose, you decide. Come as you are. Listen to that still small voice. If you flipped, bring it back around. Draw the left knee to the right tricep. Shoot the left foot out. Left hand down. Spin the right arm up. Fall in triangle. Right arm up and overhead. Breathe. Now, right hand down, pull the left knee in nice and tight. Step it up, Virabhadrasana one, spin down the right heel, 
pull the right elbow back for archers. Dip into that left knee by bending, letting the knee track over the second and third toe, creating that vision. Tip to the back of your mat, rainbow. Left hand, right shin, right arm up. Breathe. Now come to the front of your mat, spin the left toes forward, lift your arms up, crescent lunge, right hand forward, left hand back. There you go. Now exalt it, left hand behind the right, right bicep by your right cheekbone, arc up and back. Now ring it out and twist, right upper arm, on the outside of that left front thigh. Now stay here or possibly open up your arms, high to low. Now bring it low, up and around. Jiva lunge, skandasana, back of your mat. Let the hands come to heart center. Let the right knee track over the second and third toe. Open up the hips. The pose of light and love. Steady your gaze. Breathe. Now shift to the top of your mat, half moon. Maybe you want your left hand on a block. Right leg lifts. Peel the right arm up. So half moon, left toes forward. Right toes toward the right. Just shine your body open. Perhaps catch a chapasana variation. Breathe. Now release it, L shape. If you want to keep the block, maybe on your right hand or no block. Square your hips up. Right inner thigh lifts. Left hip crease draws back revolved half moon, possibly bending the right leg, catching it with the left hand. Breathe. Now release it, L shape. Both hands down, draw the right knee into your nose. Set it next to the left, scoop your arms up, chair pose. Hands to heart center. Ring it out and twist. Left upper arm outside the right. Drop your hips to your heels. Plant your hands down. Maybe go into the arm balance or just work the twist. You choose, you decide. Parjvo Bakasana. Come back to the center. Take the limits off a little itty bitty place. Go back to chair. Brush and sweep your hands alongside your body. Lace them. Dive over your legs. Let your shoulders rinse. Release that connection. Pump the heart up. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe out. Bow down. Come back to chair. Arms lift. Sit bones low, toes light. Exhale, collect your hands. Ring it out, right upper arm outside the left front thigh. Pop your heels up, hips to heels. Maybe you stay, maybe you move right into side crow. You choose, you decide. Maybe you take side crow into Akapata Kundanyasana. One. Beautiful options. Breathe. Lift the heart. Lift the back inner thigh. Yes, come back down to a forward fold. Three in a row. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Fold. Pull yourself together. Inhale, shift halfway. Exhale, bow back down. Create that positive vision. Breathe and replace 
the negative stinking thinking, bow down and fold, rise up, stand tall, hands to heart center, bring, bring three, balancing on the right, left inner thigh, goes the left foot, maybe the sole of the left foot to the right calf. Now, can you stand a little taller? Drop your shoulders down the back side. Pump your heart up. Steady your gaze. It's called drishti. Lift your arms up. Lift your gaze up. And then lace your hands in that Kali Mudra style. Slide them down the back. Slip your gaze, your vision, your imagination higher. Take off those limits. Sit down, Utkatasana chair pose, arms forward, tailbone back. Drop the bottom down, let the legs lift up. High boat, hello, high boat, Navasana. Lower down, low boat. Pull the right shin in, sit up high. Pull it in, breathe, yep, smile helps. Lower back down. Exhale, left shin in, birth something on the inside. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. See things the way you want them to be. Come on, come on, come on. Breathe, move. Yes, a little more movement, a little more fire, a little more pitta. Ah, tapas. Build that heat. Then slow it down. Rise up, high boat, and balance. Now, Lower down to low boat and balance. Now, palms down, head down, legs up and over. Plow pose. Now, visualize. Crisscross your feet on the roll up. Plant your hands. Step or float it back. Take it through. Vinyasa. Meeting back in. Down dog, breathe out. Right leg lifts when you get there. Roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Stay or flip, wild thing. Right arm up and over. Bring it around like moving through water. Weave the right foot underneath. Fall your triangle smooth and steady. Yes, left hand down, right knee in. Step it up, warrior one. Spin the back elbow back, archer pose. Create that vision. Rainbow, right hand, left shin, left arm up. Look to the back of the house. Spin around smooth, scoop up, crescent lunge. Part the arms, left, right hand behind the left. Exalt it. Ring it out and twist it. Maybe you want to hold right here. Maybe you want to bind. Maybe you want to open your arms high to low. Bring it around, stay low. Jiva lunge, back of your mat. Come with me, back of the mat, hands to heart center. This time, maybe kickstand the left arm across, right arm lifts. A possible bind, no bind. You choose, you decide. Breathe. Beautiful. Now, this time, come to the top of your mat, lizard pose. So the right foot, heel, toes under. Tense your finger pads up. Pump your heart up. Exhale, look forward, vision. Lizard push up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, back up. Take those limits off. Exhale, back down. Inhale, back up. Drop the left knee, left hand down. Right arm sweeps back. Catch a bent left leg. Offer the heart up. Now, release that connection. Pick up that left kneecap. Draw the hips back for a little modified pyramid pose. Now, plant the right foot. Right shoulder sneaks under. Right shoulder sneaks underneath. 
soldier and soldier at a love. Slither the back left foot in. Take the left hand to create a kickstand. Right hand, left foot. Open up the left hip. Draw the right hip back. Somebody breathe. Breathe and hold. Land Malasana, nice and slow, hands to heart center. Look up. Things are looking up. Look at you guys, you're rocking it. Now stand right up, heel toe your feet together. Expand your heart, hook your thumbs, open your chest, your lungs. Open that vision of your life. Exhale, cascade down. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through. Vinyasa. Let the heart lift. Exhale up and back. Down dog. Last flowing series. Left leg rises. Roll open at the hip. Stay right here or flip inside out. Breathe. Now bring it around. Weave the left knee toward the right tricep. Fall your triangle. Right arm up and overhead. Stretch long into the right side body. Beautiful. Right hand down. Pull the left knee in. Step it up. Virabhadrasana one. Pull back on the right elbow. Create that vision. Birth something on the inside that you've longed for. That you may have given up on. Now, rainbow, see the rainbow, the gold at the end of the rainbow. Breathe in. Come back to the top of your mat, slow and steady. Slip the arms up, right hand forward, left hand back. You got it, left hand behind the right. Exalt it, arc it up and back, dip into the hips. Ring it out and twist. Keep your vision in front of you. It's faith being released. Yes. We practice that. We practice breaking new ground, shifting patterns. Samskara is a process of cultivation. Maybe you want to bind here. Now bring it around, slow you go. Jiva lunge at the back of your mat. Skandasana, hands at heart center. A possible kickstand with the right arm across. Maybe you wrap it in front of the shin, connect it for a half bind, full bound. You choose, you decide. Now, come up to the top of your mat, create lizard. The left foot goes all the way to the outside edge. Finger pads tent, heart lifts up. Exhale, dip, lizard push up. Keep your vision in front of you. Do it again, you're moving toward what you constantly see. Inhale back up, exhale back down. Inhale back up, lower the right knee down, right hand down. Have you heard of that vision board? You cut pictures out of the way you want things to be. Open up your heart. Whatever it is you're believing for. Could be a situation, could be a relationship, could be a change in someone else. Whatever that is you're believing for, see it. See them the way you want them to be. Pick the right kneecap up, draw back, bow down, no matter what it looks like in the natural. See your children the way you want them to be. See whoever you're in relationship with. Just see them the way you want them to be and treat them that way. Now, plant the left foot. Sneak the left shoulder underneath. You're a soldier out of love. Slither the right foot in. Right arm creates a kickstand. Left hand, right foot. Pick the right foot up. Roll the right hip open. 
breathe. Pull the left hip back. Shift and open up into a new way. Birth something new. Now release, this time, wide-legged fold. Hands on shins, pump the heart up. Exhale, dive back down. Stand right on your hands, Padagustasana. Pick up your toes, slide your index finger and middle finger onto your heel. Wiggle your toes on your wrist. Hang the head down. Inhale, pump the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, fold back down. Now release your hands from your feet. Heel toe your feet to the width of your hips. Bend your knees and drop your hips all the way down. Bottoms land. Lower all the way onto your back. Palms down, head down, feet down, bridge pose. Pump your hips up. Breathe in. Maybe you lace your hands, lifting the heart just a tense higher. Now release that connection. Straighten the left leg, carry the right foot into Vrikshasana. Let your hip points head towards the heavens. Stretch your arms out overhead. Flex, floint, or point that left foot. Push the right sole of your foot into the left inner thigh. And then Flex only the left foot like you're standing in tree. Lace your hands laying down inside out. Press your palms as far as you can in the opposite direction. Your tree is tall. It's solid. It's stable. It's rooted. Now bend the right leg. Reach your hands that are laced onto the right shin and roll the right hip over the left. Feel that whole right eye T-band stretch. Left leg can bend and catch it for a stretch on the left quad. Look over to the right. Now unravel. Left leg should be able to slide right into laying down tree. Flex, point, or floint the right leg, arms levitate overhead, then lace the hands and only flex the right foot like you're standing on the earth, stretching in the opposite directions to the sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Pull the left knee in. Slip your laced hands on the left shin. Hug it in towards your chest and then use the right hand to roll the the right twist. Look in the opposite direction. Maybe create a T with the left arm. Come back. Back onto your back and slide your legs long and let your palms face up, open toward the heavens, just being ready to receive the blessings of the day. Shavasana. Give yourself full, complete permission to rest.
Now take five more rounds of breath, make them full. Make them complete. And then when you're ready, just let your feet plant, hips to heels, knees bent, roll over onto your right side into that fetal position, and then assist yourself right on up. Just a comfortable, easy seat. Collect your hands right at the center of your heart and seal your intention in. Let it create clarity. Let it create vision. Let your imagination be released as you practice calling things that are not as though you want them to be. Now looking up, breathe in, finishing off with a nice om to home, sip it in, sit up tall, om. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. I believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time